Oh, dang. Ah, he came up and I missed him, Rusty. That was a big one, too. Ah. Ah. Man. They missing. I need them trailer hooks. Man, I need them trailer hooks. Let's go. Let's go, Skip Jacks. Let's go, Skip Jack. Oh! Ah. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your fishing buddy, Nim back with another video for y'all and today real quick i just wanted to talk about a few things that i'm doing in this video why i was missing these fish at first first of all the trailer hook that i'm talking about it's a size four or six i left my trailer hooks at home so i did miss a few fish because skip jack a little funny about how they hit they come up boom and strike at it like that a lot of times you will get short strikes so if you put that trailer hook on there you should be able to catch twice as many fish as you normally do because you're going to notice when you skip jack fishing you're going to miss a whole lot i got that uh trailer hook on there with a little bitty tiny piece of a uh soft plastic i just pinch a little piece off if you can see that put it on that hook and that's going to keep that trailer hook in place for you the rig that i'm fishing it on is about two and a half feet i got the bottom lure tied on with a loop knot and then I have a drop loop knot about a foot up from that, a foot 14 inches up from that. You can tie a few of these up, take them with you. So when you out on the water, if you happen to break off on a rock or something of that nature, you could just boom, go in your tackle box, tie a rig back up, be ready to get right back to it. This rig right here is 14 pound test, I think. You wanna use 10 to 17 pound test line when you're fishing for these skipjack because they do fight and you could get more than one on your line at one time they do like that jigs that i'm using are the marabou jigs i got these from walmart they're like two dollars a pack or something like that i think you get like eight or ten yeah you get ten in each one chartreuse and white white chartreuse in this video i'm fishing it more like a carolina rig to where i have a bullet weight that is not pegged i have a bead tied to a swivel tied to my leader with my rig on it pay attention to my to the different retrieves in this video because it's not just one way to retrieve because skipjack just like any other fish they're going to want that bait presented to them different type of ways different type of days sometimes slow sometimes straight back sometimes with a little jig to it you know what i'm saying sometimes fast they want something to chase so pay attention to how i'm doing that and if you like what's going on in this video if you want to learn more from me about catching skipjack be on the lookout for a video that's going to break down everything that you need to know about tying this jig right here on your line and getting out there and catching some skipjack stay tuned let me know what you think in the comments like and subscribe for me if you haven't already i love y'all hope y'all enjoy deuces i need them trailer hooks boy no doubt about it let's go skip jack let's go let's go skip jack let's go Oh man. <laughs> I know one thing though, they like that song. Sorry.
Got him. Little fella. There you go. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's what we're going for, folks. Let's get Jack. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They like that green. Let's put him on ice. I know a lot of y'all ain't uh connected. And, uh, well, to each his own, I say that. But the ones of us who are, you know, we forget to give thanks a lot of times just for the opportunity to be doing this. You know, look at the water, look at the sky, the rocks, the trees, you know, just the air. The ability to breathe, the ability to see this stuff, and touch it, and sense it, and smell it. You know, gratitude is key. Thanksgiving is key. It's a major key. So we just gotta keep that in mind. Give God thanks. Just thank God for the opportunity. be above ground another day doing what we love seeing who and what we love a lot of people think you uh You know what? Fishing can be expensive, but it don't have to be. You gonna spend a little money from time to time, especially if you like me. I like oh my ride. Just look like a twitch. 
I could be tripping. But yeah, especially if you like me and you like buying tackle. But the trick is to know what you need and what you need it for. If you know what you need and what you need it for, well, you don't have to get the, you don't have to get the brand that your favorite YouTuber has, especially if he's a pro or a sponsor guy. Now this ain't me throwing no shade by any means, cause Lord knows I love to be either one or both. But you don't have to get the brand of things that these folks are showing you on YouTube. The trick is to know what you need it for. If you, if you know what you need it for, then you can go to Walmart or Academy Sports, you know what I'm saying? You can take a hundred dollars and you can get a fishing rod combo and a tackle box and, you know, some things to put in your tackle box. Oh, he came up and hit that and missed it. And you can be good to go off a hundred dollars for months of fishing. I ain't lying to you. Months of fishing. You can spend a hundred dollars, depending on how much, how much you fish. You might spend a hundred dollars and don't buy no more fishing gear to next season. It, it depends on you. You know what I'm saying? What you want versus what you need is the reason why people spend money. It comes in time. If you got it to spend, get what you want. But if you don't got it like that to spend and you're looking for things that are, you know, a little more budget friendly, well, you know what? I'm glad you found me. Because I'm going to put you on. I want you to have a good time with a little bit of money. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And then over time, you know, after you got what you need, here and there, you go get what you want. And you start replacing things. You start swapping things out. Me, I'm a fish with it all. I don't care. I'm the type of joker. Whatever you, whatever you put in my hand, I'm gonna make it work. Mm -hmm. I don't care what I got already. There you go. He hit the white one. Oh! Oh, he popped off. I thought he broke me off. Nice size. You can get either one of them rods with a hundred dollar bill. And then have money left over to uh get you a little tackle box and put you some stuff in it to catch fish with i ain't lying and that's one of the things that i want to help y'all out with mm-hmm like this rod right here you can get this reel in a combo it's called the abu garcia black max and you can find them like I mean, anywhere almost. And you can get the combo for like 60 bucks. 
probably 50 or something on Amazon. Like if you look on Amazon, you probably had an option to get a seven foot pole. See, I got a seven foot pole, but this ain't uh, the pole that comes with the combo. But the pole that comes with the combo is the same action and everything. Same power and action. Mm -hmm. And this and this setup right here has been good to me. You hear me? It has been good to me. And this is a setup that if you if you only gonna fish with one fishing rod, this is the one. If you ask me, or if you're new. To fishing with bait casters and you want to get you something that's not going to break the bank but still going to be around for you when you get good and want to get more stuff mm -hmm. black max get the black max and then from the black max i took it up a notch and got the uh the pro max they make a uh, abel garcia Max Pro and a Pro Max. I'd rather buy fishing reels with the handle on the left side. That way I don't have to switch my hands when I cast and I can just get right back to it. As soon as it hits the water, I'm reeling. As soon as it comes out the water, I'm casting. See what I'm saying? But as you can see, I still love this fishing rod. Okay. Now I got another rod for you. If you ain't hip to fishing with bait casters just yet. And that one is the Shimano Sienna. Mm-hmm. The Shimano Sienna. It's an open face. It's a spin reel combo. Now you can get it for about 60 bucks. You're going to find it at Academy Sports. You might catch it on sale. It's got a Sienna. It's got a Shimano Sienna 2500 side reel on it. It's pretty. Oh, man. I miss him. It's black and red. With the uh, with silver on it. Yeah, I used it while ago, but I didn't catch any fish on it. I, didn't, I don't have any weight on it. I need skipjack on it with weight today. Well, yeah, that's a pretty rod. If I'm not mistaken, it come with string already on it. Not the best string. I got a video showing y'all how I like to put my string on, what string I like to use. You check them out. I've been fishing all my life. Check this out. That catfish that I caught in my uh, my profile picture thing on my channel. I don't know how much that weighed. I didn't have a scale on me that day, but 30, 40 pounds. I caught that on a $27 fishing rod. I had braid on it. I switched the string out and everything like that, but I mean, that's what's up. So you want a catfish, you got a $100 bill. You can literally get you about three of them. You can literally get you about three of them. What's that? Well, you can get you two of them. You can get you some string. You can get you hooks and you can get you bait for a hundred dollar bill. Hooks, weight, line, all that for a hundred dollars. I see them flashing right here at the bank. I like when the sun go behind the clouds. Watch me catch one. Watch me catch one with the sun behind the clouds. But them, uh, that $27 rod that I'm talking about, it's a good one. I mean, it's a, the real, it's, it's only got one ball bearing on it. It's made by Shakespeare. But to me, mm -hmm. like I just haven't got to the point where I spend a lot of money on catfish rods or uh 
equipment. Like you don't need to. If you know why you need to, then you know why you need to. But I don't know why I need to, so I don't. If it works, don't break it. The bank that is. But those rods are, are called uh, Tiger Tiger Rods by Shakespeare. I got them sitting over there with catfish bait on them. I don't think nothing going to hit them today, but they over there. Where does white bass everybody be talking about? Let's go, Skip Jack. Let's go. Let's go, Skip Jack. Let's go. There you go. Told you they like that song. Now, he ain't no great big one. But he'll work. Believe that. Got him. There you go. Got him. <clears throat> there he is. Tennessee Tarpon. We blessed, y'all. Try that, give him something to chase. There you go. Whoa. Gave him something to chase. Chased it. 